Always know that. Hey. You got it roll. Here we go. Hey. Tell my baby you the only one I trust I told my shawty you ain't gotta make a fuss When I was down, out of luck, and you stuck It was us in a rut Woke up, I hit a chick for you Baby, give me life, you know I live for you Girl, you know I live for you Ride or die, kill for you Let them talk slick, I'm gonna have to split a week Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. As you slide in that door, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so that you can get notifications of when all my videos come out. All right, guys, we're going to make this one quick. We're going to hop right into it. Happy Sunday, Braindrops. I wanted to give you guys a message that has been sitting on my spirit, okay? In this new season of life, it is very important that you always choose you. And sometimes choosing you means you have to leave certain people behind. It doesn't make them bad people. It doesn't make them horrible people, okay? It just makes some people who you recognize that at a certain season in your life, they were there for you and you needed them. But as you continue to grow into who you want to be, as you become successful and as you reach your highest potential and as you continue to grow and grow into the person that God blessed you with, you're going to realize that certain people cannot go on this journey with you. And what's interesting about all of that is they're going to expose themselves to you, <clears throat> okay? You're going to begin to make excuses for them. Well, that's just who they are. That's them. Oh, those jokes they're saying, you know, they don't, they don't really mean that. Unfortunately, as you continue to grow, and rise up into your success, some of the people, whether it's family or Happy Sunday, Braindrops. All right, guys, did y'all see that? What do y'all think about that? Who was Carlos talking about? It seems to me that he has some people in his life that he feels he's not going to be able to take on this next leg of his journey with him. I would love to know who it is. He, um, for whatever reason, I could only get up to the part where he was saying it could be family, it could be friends. And I looked all over for the full version of the video, but I only saw that version where it kind of stops with him saying family and friends. But I'm wondering if that list included co-workers um, or people, employees that work for you, because we know that, you know, there has to be a lot of trimming of the fat of his number one show on OWN, which is Love and Marriage Huntsville, in order for the, that show to continue to be successful and continue to be the number one show on OWN. So it could be, and I've been saying this in our last couple of videos and, um, as it relates to Love and Marriage Huntsville, that Carlos was making some pretty harsh critiques about Real Housewives of Potomac, but that if he would take a second and sit back and look and listen to his own critiques, that he could apply those almost seamlessly to his Love and Marriage Huntsville cast, all except for a couple of them. So, you know, maybe Carlos took that advice because I wasn't the only one saying it. A lot of bloggers, a lot of people that do commentary and just the fans were saying that Carlos really needed to check his advice and apply it to Love and Marriage Huntsville. And maybe that is what he's beginning to do because I get from that that he's having some type of spiritual awakening where he's realizing that there are some things that I have to change if I want to continue to progress and move forward in this field. And 
I would 100% agree with that because one thing you can't deny about Carlos King is that he is talented. Okay. And he does know how to put a show together. He does know how to bring the drama. I mean, he's shown it time and time again. I think, and a lot of fans think that the problem is, is sometimes the drama can go too far or sometimes he don't know when to push the pause or off button when it comes to certain situations. And then it gets out of hand, it gets away from him and he ends up suffering backlash from it. Whereas I think that he may be coming into himself where he realizes that just like with anything else, too much of something is never good. So you have to know when too much is too much, um, too much is not enough. And you know, that sweet middle, you got to know when to hit the pause button. And that's not easy. I don't think anyone in this life can say that I know exactly when to do things and when not to do things. If that was the case, we will all be perfect. But we have to live and learn from our mistakes. So if you've made mistakes in the past and you've suffered greatly from the mistakes, then you have to know that you can't make those same mistakes again. Or if it looks like you're making those mistakes again, that if nothing else, you are doing some self-reflection, you're recognizing, "Uh uh-oh, I'm about to go down this same path. And what is the definition of insanity? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So my hope is that Carlos King is listening to his fans. He's understanding um, that, you know, there has to be some major changes on his number one show and that that major change may involve him having to cut people off that he considers to be close to him, family or whatever the case may be. Now he could be talking about something completely different, but this is what I take from what he said. What do you guys think? Um, I really think that you know, there's a little bit more to it than um, just nothing. (laughs) So I'd love to hear your thoughts and views in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. In the next video. My bad. (laughs) Bye. What's up with you?